Hi, hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day, and this comes to you on Wednesday, April the 26th, 2023. And this day comes in very quietly. And a lot of people's hearts will be stirring as if soup is being made within you. But there's a balancing that is coming into your soul that is coming in very quietly, very gracefully. No fiery things as such. Only a heavenly flame, again, soft, graceful, peaceful. Those are the really the virtues of the day. And this is the day to really love yourself completely. If you've never done that before, this is the day to allow yourself, even as you go through your daily activities, to admire yourself to see how wonderful you are, that face in the mirror that looks back at you. Be proud of yourself. Because then the angelic forces can work even further with you because they want you to see how precious and different you are. That cannot be said enough. It's not about being arrogant or proud. It's just saying that, yes, there's only one me. And that is why the card that comes does not show you a particular archangel or a particular guardian angel or says that this is a kind of angel that you should speak to. In fact, it's saying that you decide how you want to go forward into life and into this day you're expressing your creativity. The Akashic Spaces are opening more than ever to allow those who are receptive to receive as much as they can. There's just golden and white energy pouring down, though it's not reflecting here in this card. But that diamond-like figure in front, yes, in front of her eyes, though it doesn't seem like it's so, it's like it seems like it's above her. But your eyes, those who are very sensitive visually, will be, if you just close your eyes even for a moment, even now, will visually be very receptive and open and active. It's like you're immediately getting pictures of even ancient Egypt or something. Don't doubt that. Because it's all pouring down from that diamond that is stirring around right above your crown. Now we come to that figure that is there in the card. And if you see, there's layers within this diamond geometric shape, this mandala. It's a mandala of miracles. And what is a mandala, basically? It's an ancient... Indian geometric pattern that draws in the energies of the cosmos and uses all elements, fire, earth, air, water, and even symbols as we are used to in tarot or the oracle cards and places them into a geometric structure. Often used on garments, or during festivals, or during prayer. So you can decide what purpose you want to use this cosmic diamond for, because it's in layers. How far do you want to bring change into your life? What kind of change do you want to bring to your life? It's all open to you, because see, your hands are open. Touch your hands to her hand. And she works with the legions of Archangel Gabriel, who's most present 
for those who want to use the power of expression and words, bring it into conversation. Anything you want to write down, you want to send across as a letter. Anywhere you are required to use words for communication, for clarification, for healing, you have the power to do it because this cosmic diamond is not just a geometric structure for nothing. It brings in the power of the cosmic mind, creator's mind. So express, go ahead and keep on expressing in whatever form it comes to you today and see how her hair is. It's just flowing like water. You want to clear away something. You want to feel. You want the power of expression through feelings. Or you want to activate a certain chakra or a certain form of healing. Be it through sound. Be it through thought. Be it through feeling or visions as said before then go ahead and use this invocation which is given to you. So simple, simple words, because it's simplicity today. If you see the colors, there are not a whole bunch of colors or symbols around. It's very simple and very easy to understand and flow with. These are symbols that we're used to. These are colors that are surrounding us. So go ahead and change your immediate environment if it doesn't Work with your current state of being. That's okay. You can change it around. Create a new altar for yourself. Because you're allowing your true nature, your true divine self to come forward. So subtle changes, small changes, absolutely honored. Even changes in routine, changes in habit, changes in what you eat what you decide to wear, how you decide to structure your day. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. That means you are ready to co-create with God. You're ready to express yourself as a creative being of light. That you're not just in a human body. You're not just skin and bones. There's an energy to you. There's an identity to you. There's a power that you bring that only you can bring to the universe. Let that come forward. And see her eyes are open. Because she's now seeing herself in a new light. Choose to bring that new being that you're now becoming into being. See how I even use the words. I choose to use them this way. I might say that, oh, I'm channeling and people might not get it. And, oh, should I say it or should I not say it? I didn't, I didn't say all of that, right? I just let go and spoke. And you receive it as you're meant to receive it. I don't question that. Same with you. You will not make a mistake if you just listen to your heart and just act more spontaneously than with question. And the answers and solutions that you seek will come to you gracefully and see how her wings are extending. Again, it seems like mighty leaps, right? But look how... The bottom of the wings are in layers. So moment to moment, you can take giant leaps forward if you choose to flow with intuition. Again, don't question how intuition comes to you today. There's no conflict between mind and heart. And don't let it be. If there is a conflict, remove that and create a new way of being that your mind and heart are not fighting with one another. You're just open to the light. And for those who want to use their hands more as instruments of healing, 
as in improving healing skills of Reiki or pranic healing or connecting with plants and flowers or any form of artistry such as painting or singing, any form of embroidery, any changes to your home, your physical home, of course your mental home, your emotional home, do it today. All forms of artistry and creativity are honored. And yes, for those who want to approach the Akashic spaces, perhaps for the first time you might think, oh, this is all to do with creativity and artistry. Will that be honored? Of course it'll be honored because you will find perhaps for all of humanity a different way to approach the Akashic spaces with grace, without effort, and receiving absolute solutions. And you might find it a new way to put questions forward that nobody nobody ever thought about before. So go ahead and do it. Be that innovator today. And if you have some thought about numbers, about machinery, whatever your expert opinion is best at, your expertise, it comes forward like anything. You're just so confident and happy about it. You want to share it with everybody that you can. Go ahead and do so. It's honored this day. And it'll keep coming to you as inspiration is consistently pouring down moment to moment. You just choose to receive it. Thank the angels for helping you. And they will help you co-create that miracle you want, the healing you seek, or wherever you want to be an instrument of the light. It's all honored. Activity is assured. Movement is assured. And will you succeed? Yes, you will. Because all of the light supports you and your each movement forward is guided, is protected, and is safe. You're walking on safe ground. You will not be asked to take any step forward where you either physically get hurt, emotionally are scared, and mentally are tired. That, in fact, will be removed from you this day. See the gown she's wearing? It's the gown of creative serenity. Why? Because if you see the top, it's not just because it's supposed to be embroidery or it's just for fashion. That is protection. Protection of the diamond spheres. The diamond orbs of creativity literally planted into your heart chakra. Because it's very close to our heart chakra, right? And they're issuing forth a gentle stream of light. Tricolored. Green, though it's not apparent there. But green, white, and blue. The green brings in emotional security. A sense of serenity and peace. And love, sweetness, the blue of power, determination, security, a sense of assuredness about everything, and peace, balance, just flowing forward gracefully, not resisting anything. Just being in the flow, it's just so easy to remain in the flow. If you have to change something, that change, it'll come to you without any problem, without any question. Because she's just looking up to the light. That you tell me 
how to take the next step forward. You tell me how to take the actions. What actions are most important for me? What is good for me and what does not serve me anymore? All of that is just flowing, right? And you can decide whether left is your future that you're inviting in and right is what you're surrendering or vice versa. Again, up to you. That's why I'm not deciding it for you. I'm just surrendering it into your hands and you decide your direction forward. You are the script writer now. Writing literally the novel of your life. And entering the Akashic spaces, if if your heart tells you that that is something that you must do this day, the diamond light will literally move around and open a portal for you to enter into the Akashic spaces in your own novel way. Just look into that symbol. If you see even how it appears in the card, in the picture, in the video, it's purposely placed that way so that you look at it in a very novel manner but because it's all standing up straight, right? Vertical. So it's forcing you to think out of the box, literally. That's why it's sitting inside a box. Like, how will you interpret this picture? What will be your thoughts? And immediately that bulb, you can say, will come on. You will literally get a bulb of creativity in your thoughts, in your crown chakra. It'll be activated by your questions. You'll be an active being of light, literally. And this is given to us so beautifully and so creatively and innovatively by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the holy artwork that so beautifully presents the light and allows us to feel the flow and ignite with the flow. Be lit up by the light, literally, is given to us by Jason McCready. And Jason can be reached at V-E-C-T-R-A-I-T-S dot com. And this is Tina, signing off for now. We meet again tomorrow, having done many creative activities. Bye for now.